Okay, welcome back to my tutorial on how to color a picture on GIMP. So now we've got some color in there. We did the skin in the last video. Now we're going to move on to the hair and the cat ears. Now you might not always have cat ears when you're doing a drawing. You probably usually won't, but in case you do, then we're going to start with those. So what I want you to do is um, duplicate this line art layer to keep that good um, basic line art. And you can go in change this. Well, first we can change this to skin. Click enter. Oops. Skin. Enter. And we can change this one. This is going to be the ears. So just to keep everything nice and organized, go and change that to ears. Um, make sure you save frequently just to make sure you got everything. And so once we, so we have our ears and what we're going to do for these, now these are a little bit tucked behind the lace there and in the hair, so there is going to be some highlights and shadows, just like with the skin. So once again, you're going to go and just pick a color. Let's see. How about, what color would cat ears be? Yeah, how about we just do a cute little brown? That works. So we'll go in, and we have our brown. Make sure it's the right color. And here you can just fill them in like that. And once again, we're going to go in. Now, this time, I'm going to show you a different method. Or maybe I'll just stick with the same one for um, doing the highlights. So go to your burn again. Make sure it's on a fuzzy brush. And you can make these a little bit more splotchy for this one. Make sure it's on burn highlights. Um, only because, you know, the texture of the ears might be more furry. And you can do a little bit right there um, where the, sh the ear would fold under. And you wouldn't be able to see the light as well. And over here, even though you can't see that little crease there, you can still do kind of the, some of the same thing. And where it meets the head and is hidden by the lace. And once again, we can go in with the dodge and maybe do some on the top. And then once again, we're going to zoom out and see if we like it. I actually don't like that. I think that I could have done a little bit better with the burns under there. Okay. That looks a bit better, in my personal opinion. So now, we're done with the ears, so what do we do after we're done with every step? We should save it. So do control S to save. And there you go. Okay. So moving on. Now we're going to do the hair. Now, when considering the hair, you I mean, from in my case, and we're going to duplicate the line art layer again. That's what we do before everything. And when considering the hair, of course, mine is an anime girl, so you can really do, you know, any color that you would like. But, you know, if you are doing cat ears or just or if you have an outfit in mind, just do something that matches. So, you can go in um and as I was saying, so I'm going to set her hair to a nice dark color that's a that's an alternate shade of her ears, so it'll match. So we can go in and fill that in and once again I'm going to it's just going to be a lot of filling in so I'm going to pause the video and come back to you in a second okay um, now as you can see I filled in all of the hair and I'm looking at this and I think that maybe I should make the ears a little bit lighter because I mean I really like it but the ears just a little bit they kind of blend in with the hair a little bit too much and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I want to move the um, ear layer over top. Okay, it's not working for some reason. You can just use um, the hair top. Alright, you usually can just drag. Oops. Drag. Okay, it's not working right now. But um, usually you can just drag and drop where you want your layers to be. Um, but anyway. So, here, I'll try this. <sighs> All right, here's another way you can do it. There's little arrows there. You can just move it up and down. I don't know why it's not working today, but I'm going to move the ears layer over the, we'll call this hair. Oops, that's not how you spell hair, is it? Okay. So um, we want to move the ears layers over the hair layer, and then what we want to do is go up to colors, and we're going to do brightness and contrast. Because I like the way I did my highlights, but I the color is just a little bit off for me. So, we wait till that comes up. And then, we'll go like this. So, you can see. 
I'm just moving the brightness up a little bit. You can adjust the contrast too, but we don't really need that right now. Um, you can adjust the brightness, make it lighter. And there we go, I made them paler without having to redo the whole thing. Alright, so that looks nice. So I'm going to go back to my hair layer and then I'm going to do some highlights. Now, highlights with the hair is a lot similar to the other two things we did. The only difference is, um, the highlights, we should really make them stand out. On anime people especially, the hair is very shiny, um, very pretty. And so, first of all, of course, we want to start out with our, um, ooh, wow, that's a huge brush, with our shadows on the hair. So, for this one, of course, the shadows are going to be much darker, only because the, the color, the shade that we chose is darker. So we can go in, um... Around here, there might be some shadows uh, where the hair curls in on itself. Um, and on tips, there's often shadows. So maybe add a little bit up there. Maybe where her bow is on her head. And um, around in here, definitely around the neck area. And once again, just use logic, you know, figure out where they should go. Um, so there you go. And now what I'm going to do, now I'm going to do the highlights. So the highlights, you want to be extra sure. You want to do one probably kind of across there, or at least you want to establish your light source. Mine's kind of coming straight on, so it's just kind of going to be around there. But if it was coming from the side, you would, of course, do the light over there or over here. So I'm going to start um, just going across and um, just do a light layer at first. Carry it out, you know, to there-ish. And then, um, what you want to do is make this a little bit smaller and go in and really get that good. Go over it again. And because, you know, it's dodge, it's doing whatever color you already have, it'll highlight the highlights. And that's a good effect because it'll make it white. You can go over a couple times just to make it shiny. Do the sides there. Um, that looks nice. Now what you can do is go in and do some other parts of her hair. So maybe right here, some light would catch it. Um, over here, maybe a little bit. Not all the way, of course, because oh, under there it would be shadowed. But And just make that with some highlights. Nice highlights in there. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. Pretty professional and nicely done. Um... And, of course, we want to save it again. I forgot to save it after I made the ears lighter. Uh-oh. All right. So, there you go. If you want to move on to the next video, we're going to start talking about clothing design. All right.